Hey everyone, welcome to the channel, welcome to BP. We're out for a quick ride in Staffordshire in the car today and we're going to be talking about the reports that you can get from Car Vertical or Motor World and similar things like that that uh, tell you the history of your vehicle. That's what we're talking about today. So, when it comes to buying and selling, actually, a vehicle, be that a motorcycle or a car, you can get a report online about all the history of your vehicle. And one of the, one of the popular ones is Car Vertical, which costs about £26 for each report. Uh, and there's also Motor World, that costs about £10. Now, forget about the price differences. Uh, that's a different subject, but there is a great error in the report and we're going to talk about that now So when you get the report it tells you all the mechanical history all the uh, MOT history the annual check in the UK It tells you all that stuff and it's really important information if you are going to buy a second-hand vehicle from either a private seller or a dealer, I highly rec recommend that you get one of these reports from either Motor World or car, or car Vertical or whatever. I'm not promoting any. But within those reports is one piece of information that is incorrect. And we're going to talk about that now. In the report, it actually gives you a value of your vehicle now I've tested this out on my vehicle and I've advertised my vehicle and I've had an offer and I've also tried to look for a vehicle and tried making offers which are appropriate to the economic situation of the country as a whole today. Now, vehicles are like commodities. They go up and down in price in the second-hand market based on the economic situation of the country and obviously the vehicle concerned. So what happens is, so now, currently we're in February, uh, sorry, March 2024, the UK has gone into a recession, and it's been like that for a good couple of months anyway, let's face it. And the cost of living is increasing, and subsequently, the impact of all that means that the commodity of certain things in our context, vehicles, is reducing their value. It is reducing their value. I'd love to know your comments on that. Put them below. And don't forget to subscribe and like if you find this content useful. So, as an example, I've been looking for a Mercedes E220, sorry, E250, a convertible. And I did a report on a vehicle that I agreed the price with the seller and that price was seven and a half thousand pound. I did the report and in the price it quoted that the price, the value of that vehicle was uh, 12,500 for a private seller or thereabouts. I will put a screenshot up about now to show you this. And from a trade perspective, if you're selling it on a forecourt, I think the number started at £14,000. Now that's just ridiculous in today's economy. The point here is, these reports are connected to lots and lots of databases. And the information is very, very good. But one piece of information, which is the value of your vehicle, is disconnected to the, from the economic situation 
of a country. So, what does that really mean? Well, if I'm buying a, if I'm buying a vehicle, I can see that this is the price on the report of what it should be. But the price on eBay, Auto Trader, Marketplace, the prices are much lower. So what we're having is a disconnection from these reports based on the economic situation. As a seller, if I'm selling up a car, I can go and get that report for £9.99 from Motorworld and it tells me that my car's worth £12,500. I then advertise it at £12,500 and no one gets in touch with me. But I also look around and I see the same car that I'm selling, as an example, for £8,500, £8,000, £9,500. So there's a massive disparity a massive disparity. So, if you're thinking about selling your vehicle, download the report and be very, very cautious on what value the vehicle is within that report. Don't get overexcited that your car's worth £12,500 and when you advertise it, it actually doesn't sell. No one connects with you saying, are you are you, uh, uh, are, are you open to offers and things like that? You know, no one connects with you. Now, I tested that out on Marketplace, Facebook Marketplace, with this particular car. Now, the report came back for this particular car at £6,500. Having had a look, having had a look around, I knew that no one would connect with me. So I advertised the car for five and a half thousand pound. Very little interest, very little interest, but I can understand that because the current situation of the economy is no one's buying anything at the moment. But I did get two and someone offered 4,800 pound. Now there's a massive difference as a percentile between £4,800 and £6,500. We're nearly talking, you know, we're talking £1,700 difference. And £1,700 out of uh, £4,800 is what? Do, 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 do. Let's have a calculate that out. That's nearly 33% less. 33%. So when you're looking at these reports, be very, very cautious of what the value of your vehicle is. It's the, the, the marketplace and the economy of your country is not calculated into the value of the vehicle. So don't get excited when you run a report and it says your car is worth £12,500 and then you get no one inquiring about your vehicle. That's because the vehicle in the economic situation of today is not worth £12,500. On the understanding that vehicles, be those motorcycles or cars, are a commodity. A commodity goes up and down in price based on uh, demand and supply and the economic situation of the country concerned. The economic situation of the UK is not in a great place today. So you need to take that into consideration. I, I say once again, if you are buying a second-hand vehicle from a dealer or a private seller, always run one of these reports to get the history of the vehicle. A couple of other pieces of advice. Never get a vehicle that hasn't got clear full-service history. If it hasn't got a clear full-service history, generally keep away from it. I do. 
the full service history is is worth hundreds of pounds always uh, also when you're considering buying a vehicle be very careful buying a vehicle that's been in an accident and written off by an insurance company where it's classed as a category N for Nelly or S for sugar. N means non-structural damage, as in the wing has been dented, and S means structural damage, i.e. the chassis has been twisted in an accident and been repaired. If you're going to buy a category N or a category S, then never pay more than £3,000. It doesn't matter what car it is. Never buy, never pay more than three thousand pound. They've been written off by an insurance company, so don't go buying cars that have been written off by insurance companies. They were wrote off, probably because of economic repair reasons. Yeah, but if it's got structural damage, you never know how good the repair of the structure that was damaged has been to the vehicle. You never know it. You don't you don't know. Yeah? And all those that are selling category S and Ns, reduce your prices. You think that they're worth twelve thousand pounds. They're not. They're a scrap. They're a scrap car that is through some loophole allowed to come back onto the marketplace. If you don't like that, leave comments below. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Hope you found this useful. If you're riding a motorbike, shiny side up, ride safely. Don't do anything silly. I shall see you very soon. Be kind to people. There's enough crap in this world. So just be kind to people. You never know what their story is. Yeah, everybody's got a story. Let's let's understand that. Everybody's got a story. I shall see you very soon. Put your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. Give it a like if you thought this was useful. I'll see you soon. Thank you ever so much. Bye-bye.